Greetings everyone, it's great to have you back at Code and Play. Today, we will be delving into the world of Midjourney, which is a popular AI image generator. If you're not familiar with Midjourney, it's a unique platform that enables users to submit prompts or short phrases, which are then interpreted by the AI and transformed into four stunning images that correlate with the given text. Midjourney is an exceptional tool that uses a state-of-the-art AI algorithm to create visually appealing and engaging images. Although it's a paid service, they do offer a trial version so that you can test out their product before making a financial commitment. While we won't be providing a comprehensive tutorial on how to use Midjourney today, there are many tutorials available on YouTube and other platforms that can guide you through the process step by step. So guys, in this video we're going to be using Midjourney AI to create an awesome gaming website. It's all about Blaze the Dragon and the site is gonna have this cool parallax animation with leaves falling down. So let's get started and make something amazing together. Kindly ensure that you subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell for further updates on new videos. Before we begin, these are the tools that we will need. Visual Studio Code Editor Midjourney Trial Account And Photoshop to edit the image. Head over to your Midjourney account on Discord. Let's create a prompt. The prompt will be Beautiful website for game that is about a green cute dragon, Figma Awards, Allwords, CSS Design Award, Helvetica, Paper Cut Craft Illustration, Sharp Focus, High Quality, Award Winning, Artistic AR-16-9. Once you submit, you will be given 4 images. I like the second one. So let's get more variants of this. So let's select V2. Now. Midjourney has created 4 more variants of the one we liked. I do like number 4 but let's get more variants of this. I think we're going to end up with this one. So select you too. So the Midjourney created a single image of the one we liked. I asked Midjourney to upscale the image by selecting the beta upscale redo. And this is the final image we will be using. To start, navigate to Adobe Photoshop and access the image we generated in Midjourney. Your next task is to segment the image into separate layers. For instance, the backdrop should be assigned to a single layer with a uniform gradient color, while the foliage-rich nature background, dragon, and other elements should each have their own individual layers. And, this is my final image after I broke them down into different layers. I also did some Photoshop updates to some layers. We have the following layer, background, nature and foliage, the dragon, the ground, the front blurred leaves, and few leaves for the falling effect. Finally, make sure to export each layer as a PNG file. Next, open up your Visual Studio Code Editor and set up a boilerplate React projects with Tailwind CSS installed. Create an image folder and import all the layer images we saved from Photoshop. Open your app CSS file. Make sure to have all the Tailwind classes in here, plus whatever you need for global styling. I set the body, H1 and button classes with a custom font and some styling here. In the app.js file, make sure to import all the images as I did here. You will need to import these as well. But first, we need to install these dependencies. The first dependency we need to install is Parallax.js. Parallax.js is a JavaScript library that enables the creation of dynamic and interactive parallax scrolling effects on websites. Parallax scrolling is a popular web design technique that creates an illusion of depth and movement by moving multiple layers of images or content at different speeds as the user scrolls down a web page or with mouse movement. Next, we need to install the element animation. The element animation allows us to create congratulation confetti, snow or leaves falling from top to bottom or moved by mouse. Also, elements inside your whole document can be moved by mouse movement. If you run the React app, you will get a blank white screen. Let us start coding now. Open the app.js file. First, let's create a main div container with the following Tailwind class. Height will be screen height. Background gradient to the right. From color hashtag 1D1A29. To color hashtag 3D2D35. Flex. Overflow hidden. Justify center. 
and item center. You should see the background gradient color now. Let us add the parallax JS. Make sure to import the component. First, we need to create a layer object. This will hold all the images and depth. We're going to have the name, image and data depth. The movement applied to each layer will be multiplied by its data depth attribute. Make sure to apply all the layers in here and their data depth. We need to define a use effect to initialize the parallax animation. First, get the element ID scene. Then initialize the parallax object for the scene. Let us create a div with the ID equals scene. Next, we need a map array function to loop through the layers object. We need to create an image tag and pass these props. Key equals index. Data depth equals layer dot data depth. SRC equals layer dot image. And alt equals layer dot name. And this is what it looks like now. The parallax animation effect is working. You can see when I move my mouse, the layers of the image shift. And if I change the data depth for the dragon to let us say 3. See how it affects the animation. That feels way too much. Let us reset that back. We will keep this setting. It's feel a lot more smoother and realistic. Next, let us add some content for the page, like the title, a paragraph and play game button with some hover effect. Now you can see the nice title with custom fonts, as well as a small paragraph and the play game button. The final step for us now is to add the falling leaves effect. Let us do that now. We need to create a div with the ID as element animation. Please make sure to import the element animations. We need to create a props object to hold all the leaves variants. We also need an options object to initialize all the element animation settings. Keep these settings for now. You can check out their repo for more information on these. We need to initialize the animation in the use effect. We're going to use the rain with the mouse movement effect. Here's the finished result. As you can see, the leaf falling animation is working beautifully. I trust that you found this tutorial on how to utilize Midjourney to design an exquisite animated website to be informative and helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. See you soon.